This video is sponsored by Skillshare, which is an online learning community with thousands of classes in photography, design, cooking, business, you name it. A premium membership gives you unlimited access, so whether you're looking to evolve in a specific area or are simply a bit bored, Skillshare has you covered. I, for example, have checked out a familiar face, Christopher Rhodes, aka YC Imaging. He has a course called Video on a Budget, prepare for your shoot without breaking the bank. And most of all, it teached me that no matter how long I've been doing this, it's always good to get a fresh perspective from someone else. Skillshare is giving away two free months of premium membership to the first thousand people who click the link in the description box to help you explore your creativity. And after that, it's only around 10 bucks a month. It's time for yet another quick review of an affordable Leica lens option, the TT Artisan 35mm f1.4. As you probably know, I'm not a fan of the 35mm focal length, and that's one of the reasons why lenses like these make a lot of sense for me. If I won't use it all that much, I don't want to spend like a cash on it. And maybe not even Zeiss or Voigtlander cash. The lens is just like the 21mm I reviewed, well built, solid feeling, all metal and with a smooth focus throw. It's a tad big, but not unbalanced on a Leica body. It has a built-in focus tab and comes with a nice looking square lens hood. The metal cap is cool but falls off way too easy for it to be practical in my opinion. Speaking of the lens hood, there lies the only true flaw I found that one needs to be aware of when using it. It can flare quite easily and would probably be better off using a bigger hood. Other than that, the image quality is nice and for the price, stellar. Wide open there will of course be a little softness, but at just about $400 you can't ask for perfection. Stop down it is as sharp as I would ever need. Being an M mount you can of course adapt it to almost anything which widens the usability and therefore affordability. And yes, just like I've done with the 7 Artisans and TT Artisans in the past, I will mention the fact that you can adjust the focus at home. This is my Leica M8, it's an old camera and therefore the focus has drifted so I can't acquire critical focus with for example my Leica Summicron unless I focus a couple of inches in front of the subject. But until I feel the timing to be without the camera for a couple of weeks is right, I can simply adjust my TT Artisan to match up with the camera. And after the rangefinder is calibrated, I adjust them back again. Long story short, with these lenses I can keep shooting and acquire critical focus. And that makes me glad I have them. That's about it, please subscribe for upcoming videos and follow me on Instagram for new pictures every day. Until next time, goodbye!